approached the end of the season and after eliminating Leipzig in the most dramatic way possible, we secured a spot in the Champions League quarterfinals. And would you believe that we are going to face Bayern Munich one more time after losing 4-0 in the league phase. But before that, we have a game in the La Liga against Atletico de Madrid at Wanda Metropolitana. They are second in the league and the win against them will give us much needed tiny room of error. In the first half, we created enough chances to open the score. Rafinha can he score here and Jan Oblak saves Atletico Madrid. Cuts to Rafinha, Rafinha shoots and yet another save from Jan Oblak. Samuel Lino finds Alvarez, shoots and Mark andre Stegen this time saves us. Corner kick, Llorente shoots, goal line clearance from Kunde, but apparently ball did hit his hand. Atletico de Madrid have been awarded with a penalty and Julian Alvarez converted it. Don Atletico managed to double their lead. Gallagher! What an unbelievable long shot that falls from Gallagher. But still, there were a little bit of time left in this match. Pedri to Rafinha. Rafinha shoots and Rafinha gets one back. And we are back in the game. And we even managed to equalize the score with the last play of the match. Rafinha completed his brace to save for us a precious point at Wanda Metropolitana. Soon after, we got real test in the Champions League as we were about to face Bayern Munich. But we were unable to have our best possible lineup on a pitch as Andreas Christensen got injured right before the game and Eric Garcia had to step up. And this time the luck was in our side. Messi again. Tried to cross her and ball hit Guerrero's hand. We got a penalty kick there and Messi converted it successfully. Bayern Munich tried to get the equalizer right after conceding. Harry Kane. Can he score there? No. no. Mark andre Ter Stegen deny him. In the second half, Bayern proved their world class once again. And Eric Garcia tries to steal the ball there, but Jamal Musiala is still with the ball. Shoots, Mark Andre Deshtegen with the save, and the rebound goes to Leroy Zane. Harry Kane! It is 1 1 with the keeper! There is only one possible scenario there. Harry Kane, with so much space, definitely is going to score. And as the thing stands, we are losing the first game against Bayern Munich 2 1 at our home ground. But we do have Lionel Messi in our squad and he is capable of producing magic moments like this one. Messi shoots and Messi scores! What an unbelievable free kick from Lionel Messi! He is still the best player in Barcelona and maybe in the world as well. How is he doing that? And we indeed saved this game, securing the equal aggregate score before the second match of the tie. But at the same time, in the La Liga, we started to unexpectedly drop precious points. And Real Madrid climbed back to the first position after 31 games. Meanwhile, in the Champions League, we've seen an unexpected turn. What is happening? Where are the best teams like Manchester City, Real Madrid? All teams from the Bundesliga made it this far. This set of quarterfinalists gives me a hope. Anyways, our main focus now is to win the second game of the quarterfinals against Bayern Munich at Allianz Stadium. But it is never an easy task to complete. Musiala! What a fantastic attack that was from Bayern Munich, but Mark andre Ter Stegen saves us. A fantastic counter-attacking movement from our team. We did exceptionally well there to beat the Bayern press. Frankie de Jong with a pass to Messi and Messi finds Lewandowski. He does have space here. Defender did not manage to track him back and he opened the score. And Araujo. Can he get the ball back from Sané? He can't. And what a save from Ter Stegen. And in the 64th minute, we managed to double our lead with Rafinha, creating a comfortable advantage in the tie. Blocked our goal this time safely. And Bayern did not manage to do anything with that. Eventually, we managed to win this game 2-0. And with the aggregate score of 4-2, we are progressing in the Champions League by eliminating Bayern Munich. And would you believe that? In the next round, we are matched up against yet another team from the Bundesliga. We are playing the first game of the tie against Bayer Leverkusen away from home. Bayer Arena is ready for the first match of the semi-finals in the Champions League. Victor Boniface cuts back to Hoffmann, to Tela and save from Mark andre Ter Stegen. And in the beginning of the second half, we got a chance to open the score from the spot once again. We are getting so lucky with these handballs. I don't think it was a penalty to be fair. But yet, Lewandowski converts the kick from a spot to give us a lead in Bayer Arena. 
Bayern got a free kick. Aleix Garcia with a shot. And that was an unbelievable free kick from Aleix Garcia. But as we already did a couple of times this season, we did not give up till the end. Frankie de Jong sends Lamine Yamal. Can he score there? Yes, he can. With the last shot of the game, our young superstar finally delivers when it matters the most. We got a goal advantage against Bayer Leverkusen before the second game. And the team feels positive about the outcome of this tie. And we started the second game against Bayer Leverkusen at Montjuic brilliantly. Already in the fourth minute, Leo Messi found himself one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and beat Karnaseki easily, doubling our aggregate advantage. But just 10 minutes later, Bayer Leverkusen equalized the score with a beautiful solo goal from Frimpong. What a run that was from Frimpong. He managed to get rid of all of our players. And in the end, he beat Marc-Andre Ter Stegen as well. But in the second half, we managed to hold on that score, keeping our one goal advantage over Bayer alive till the final whistle from the referee, securing the spot in all decisive final match, where we are going to face fourth German club in the knockouts, Borussia Dortmund. We already faced them in the league phase. Now the stakes are as high as possible. But before that game, we need to address the situation in the La Liga, where we were awful in the second part of the season. Last time we won a game in the league was two months ago. As a result, we dropped down to the fifth position, right before the third El Clasico of the season. In fact, this game showed how much we were focused on performing in the Champions League and how exhausted we are mentally and physically. We did not manage to create a single goal-scoring chance whole match and Real Madrid took home all three points. Before the last game of the season, we were sitting in the fourth position. But if we did lose the final game against Athletic, they would finish the season in the fourth place above us. Let's simulate this game and hope that we are not going to lose it. And we did want it. We are going to be in the Champions League next season, no matter the result of the Champions League final. But of course, the last game of the season is the most important one for Barca in 10 years. The last time we won the trophy, it was 2015. The dream trio of world football, MSN, led by Lionel Messi, conquered the Europe exactly 10 years ago. Can almost 38 years old Messi perform on that level one more time? I guess we are going to find out pretty soon. And we started this final game with style. Lamine Mal got the ball in the right flank, cuts inside, a low pass to Lewandowski, he got the ball on his chest and a dream volley from Lewandowski. There were nothing Gregor Koba could do there. What a way to start the Champions League final. We were looking very solid on the pitch, dominating the game until the 83rd minute. Karim Adeyemi tried to cross the ball from the left flank and the ball supposedly hit Christensen's hand. So the beast got awarded with a penalty kick and Girassi scores from the spot. And I don't know what he is doing there. But oh boy, how lucky are we having Messi back wearing Barcelona shirt. Messi from a long range and fantastic finesse goal from Leo Messi. Our leader and captain stepped up big time to save Barca once again. After all these years, he still possesses what it takes to win the toughest games. And even that was not the end. Messi with the ball. He passed one opponent easily. He finds himself in the opposition box. Pass got intercepted, but Messi puts the ball into the net. In the dying seconds of the game, complete in a brace in the Champions League final. He won yet another Champions League trophy for Barcelona. How is he even doing that? The goal himself brings the most prestigious trophy in club football back to Catalonia. Back to Barcelona. The one last time we witnessed Leo's magic in Blaugrana shirt. But as we were about to discover, this huge accomplishment had a bitter aftertaste. The Champions League final against Borussia Dortmund was Lionel Messi's swan song. He retracted his contract with Inter Miami and hanged up his boots. An emotional moment for the football fans worldwide. But it was not the end for us. Robert Lewandowski, our best goal scorer of the season, decided to retire as well. The only world-class goalkeeper we have, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen, picked up an ACL injury and will most probably miss the whole next season. And on top of that, we did not manage to reduce the wages. So as the things stand, we won't be able to sign anyone 
next season as well. And the worst of them all, our main hope, young superstar Lamin Yamal took a massive step back this season and it will most probably hit to his potential accordingly. Our future is not looking very bright to say at least. Are we going to survive under this amount of pressure next season? And who is going to take the responsibility to carry the team on his shoulders? These all are the open questions and they need to be addressed right away.